All right, we're back for more. Second game of a doubleheader, Marlins and Guardians. For this one, we're going to look at all of Jazz Chisholm's at-bats in this game. Jazz to lead things off, and he takes a first pitch strike. Gonzalez, ball up to Plesak. In the game earlier today. Wow, that is a low strike three call. Terrible. That is really low. Horrible. It's hard to see in and out from the dugout, Rod, but you can see up and down, and that's down. Yes, you can. So I'm arguing from the dugout. The pitch is objectively a ball erroneously called a strike, but this is exactly the post incorrect call reaction you want. The batter turns, complains, walks away back to the dugout because, again, the pitch was low, so that's justified. The umpire doesn't get involved. That's exactly what you want to see. Keeps everyone in the game, and the batter gets to vent frustration. Change up that was down, that was pulled up in the strike zone by Gallagher. And, but Dan Mersel should not have been fooled on that. Chisholm's next at bat. The team ever run. He said that he was on the top step waiting for Solaire to come in, and he said that's his last time on a pitch that looked to be down. That's taken down and in. Jazz comes up empty there. Top of the fifth now. Here's the ejection at bat. Once the uh, game goes final, off, Cooper arrives and Solaire against Zach Plesak. With the doubleheader, lots of fastballs away, lots of breaking balls away as well. Oscar Gonzalez makes the catch off the bat of Garrett Cooper for out number one. Somebody got thrown out for something. I don't know here. what. Well, Skip Schubacher is coming out to argue with the home plate umpire. And now Skip Schumacher's been thrown out. So he didn't really care for the strike zone, and Skip Schumacher is going to get run for the first time as a Marlins manager. But it wasn't that bad of a pitch <laughs> for it to become this, in my opinion. Looks like he's uh, talking to the home plate umpire, Dan Merzel, about uh, you're calling pitches up, you're calling pitches down, you're calling pitches in and out. That's what a hamburger's all about. But... This is because of strike three to Chisholm earlier in the game. Jazz says something from the dugout loudly enough that the Cleveland right fielder has this reaction to it. If you're wondering whether what Jazz said was ejection worthy and you see that face, I don't know what was said, but it's funny though. Yeah, the uh, home plate umpire was pointing to the dugout, so someone else might have been chirping not in love with the strike zone. Could have been. That's the crew chief, Lance Barksdale. And of course, you can't come out and argue balls and strikes. That's an automatic ejection. Well, you must have been able to hear him. I think he heard. Yeah, he heard the word. I was going to say we can't hear him up here. You we can't got say that on television. <laughs> Two to Garrett. This Cooper. pitch is on the absolute edge of the strike zone. Even in a zero air system, Robo Ump would have this as a strike. The TV box is wrong because it doesn't have enough significant digits in the software to account for this being the correct call due to how on the edge this pitch is. One inch out, it's a definitive ball. One inch in, it's a definitive strike. This is an edge case, as edge as it can possibly be. So Jazz was ejected, and that may have been part of the Skip Schumacher ejection. Protecting his player. That's the second time Jazz has uh, been kicked out of uh, the game this year. He may have said something, and then after he was run, then of course you've got Skip Schumacher. Uh, looking after Jazz and protecting him, but it was too late. Jazz had already been thrown out. 